Hi boys and girls at home. Uh, in this video, I am going to be going over this counting seeds math page with you. Uh, your friends in the classroom are working on this page right now. And so I am just going to briefly go over what you need to do on it so that you make sure you get it done correctly. And then you can take a picture of it and upload it either to Class Dojo or Google Classroom. You don't have to upload it both places. Whichever one you're finding is easier for you is fine. Mrs. Hatkoff and I can see either one. So whichever you feel is the easiest, we want it to be as easy as possible for you. Um, so the first thing that you should do on this paper is put your name. Let me put your name here at the top. Um, once you have your name, the best way to complete this is to just completely cut off this bottom portion. Um, you'll be cutting out each of these numbers and gluing them in the correct places. So if we just completely cut it off so we actually have two separate pieces, it makes it easier when we are trying to um, get everything put together. The next thing that I encourage the children here in the classroom to do is to cut off all of this extra space around the numbers because it's just scrap paper that we don't need and sometimes it just gets in the way when we're cutting. So you see I'm holding my scissors in one place and I'm turning the paper and I'm just cutting off that scrap. And then boys and girls in the room, when you cut off your scrap, did you throw it on the floor? No. no. Where did we put it when we cut it off? We put it in the garbage. In the garbage. So when you cut it out, don't just throw it on your floor or leave it, you know, on your desk or table. Make sure you get it thrown in the trash. So this paper is actually a review of a kindergarten skill that we want to make sure that you have mastered so that next week when we start our first grade skills um, in our math books, we know that we're already on the right track. So what you're going to do, each of these numbers corresponds to one of the numbers of seeds in these apples. So you'll go through and you'll count the seeds. So for example, in this first one, I have one, two, three seeds. So I will cut my number three, and I'm not gonna cut apart all of my numbers because boys and girls in the classroom, what could happen if I cut apart all my numbers at once? Seraphina? They could get lost. They could get lost. Some could fall on the floor, some could get tucked inside your desk, and you could lose them. So it's best to keep them all together until you're ready to glue them down. So I cut my three because I'm ready to glue my three. And when I go to use my glue stick, I don't put the glue here on the paper. I put the glue on the back of the piece that I'm gluing. That way I don't use too much glue or get glue in places that aren't going to be covered, and then it gets sticky and it can stick to other things. And I want to make sure I'm using enough glue that what I glue down stays in place, but not so much glue that it's oozing out the sides, okay? So then you'll go through for each of these and count. This next one here has one, two, three, four, five. So I see my number five is here, so I'll cut here, and then I will carefully cut here. We'll put our four with our other numbers so it doesn't get lost. We'll put our glue on the back of our five and get it stuck in place. And you'll keep doing this, boys and girls, until all of the apples have a number glued next to them. Once you have done that and shown me that you can count and recognize the numbers, if you'd like to color your apples, you may. Some of our friends did a really nice job um, coloring their apples. You can see here I showed them a sample of one way that you can color um, and you can color any way that you like. There's red apples, green apples, yellow apples. Um, some kids even did rainbow apples just for fun. I'm really just looking to see the numbers that you can count and match the numeral to the amount. So when you are finished with this, um, you can go ahead and take a picture of it, upload it for me or for Mrs. Hatkoff, and we look forward to seeing your hard work. Have a great afternoon. Bye.